And we are live. What's going on, everybody? It's Mastermind Through Tough Times. We do this every Tuesday at 2.30. We got the crew in the back getting ready. You guys, like, share, and comment. We have a great show for you guys. We want to make sure that you get entered into the drawing. We're going to have a lot of fun on this show. So let's jam out. Come on. Hey. Tell me what you want to be tonight. Hey. Fine wine and Hennessy. But it's smooth like shea butter. She did make my heart stutter. That's right, guys. Yeah, you are tuned like in. Mastermind through tough times. Like I said, we do this every Tuesday at 2 30. Go ahead and take the time to smash that like button and get it out to the world. Let everybody know that we are here. Like, share, and comment, guys. Let's go. Hey. I see you, Mike. Hey. <laughs> like, share, and comment, guys. We have a giveaway at the end of the show. We'll be giving away, giving away <laughs> a journal by Larry W. Brooks. One by one. One like saying, no, have no one. Pump up, it's up like a gas station. Pump up, it's up like a gas station. Two by two. One by one. One like saying, Excited. We have an in studio guest. One of our newest family members here at Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Say hey to the people. Oh my. Mama's gonna say. Fine wine and Oh my. Hey. I see y'all coming in. That's right. Smash that like button. Show us some love today. Like I said, it's gonna be a fun show, guys. Hey. You know how to get me right every time. I know your work, so you are my front line. It was love at first sight like when we first you didn't know you were tuned into Mastermind for some time. So maybe when I grab your hips, I want you to do the Civic Tuesday at 2 30, guys. We like to start off with a little jam chance, session. And we transition into an awesome show. Uh, yeah, yeah, Today we'll be yeah, speaking yeah, about the evolution of Amazon. Hey. Thank you. Ayo, 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 take control of me, take control of me, yeah. oh, take control of two by two. One by one, one like share and comment, guys. Let everybody know that you are here. <laughs> I see you, Margaret. Who's flipping switches? Hey. Oh, yeah. Say Obama put the switch on us like Amazon. So that's what we'll be talking about, guys. The evolution of Amazon today. You are tuned in to Mastermind through Tough Times. Go ahead, like, share, and comment. Let everybody know that we are here. We have a great giveaway at the end of the show. We're giving away a journal. But as we transition into our theme song for today, make sure you like, share, and comment, guys. Blinding lights the weekend. Jam out. Let's go. Okay. Mm -mm. Like, share, and comment, guys. Let's see y'all stepping in. Make sure you share this with everybody that you know. Maybe you can show me how to love. Got my crew in the back getting ready. I'm going to be starting here soon, guys. You are tuned in to Mastermind through Tough Times. We do this every Tuesday at 2 30. I see you, Margaret. Hey. Hey. I'll say it again, guys. Like, share, and comment. We're giving away a journal at the end of the show. We'll put your name on the wheel, spin it, and hopefully you win. Come on. I see you, Mike. I don't know, that sounds like a good note you're hitting right there. <laughs> hey. You're tuned in, guys. Mastermind for Tough Times. Like, share, and comment. We're going to get started here shortly. Got the crew in the back, in studio guests. And we're going to have a little fun today. Let us know that you're here, guys. Show us some love in the comments. Oh, yeah. 
If you're jamming out with us right now, show some love, smash that like button. Get your dance on. I see y'all. Come on. <laughs> hey. Today's show is the evolution of Amazon. We're going to touch on that amongst some other things. That's what the Mastermind of Tough Times is about. We talk about a little bit of everything and a little bit of nothing. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. My chance coming, guys. Hey. Mastermind through tough times. Like, share, and comment. Let us know that you're here. We're going to get started here shortly, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button. We have a great show for you guys. We're giving away a journal at the end of the show. If you like, share, and comment, your name will be entered into the drawing. Hey. I see y'all in the building. We have a great show. We speak about the evolution of Amazon. Oh, I think over I here my tripping. Desk. She over here tripping, <laughs> Jess. She over here tripping. What's she tripping? Oh, no. So, right? We're going we to talk about it when we get to trending topics. But first of all, we want to welcome uh -oh. y'all to the Mastermind Through Tough Times. Man, I am your host, Michael G. Davis, CEO of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, Business Plus Realtor Coach, aka Professor X, because I peel back the layers with the coaching to move them challenges out of the way. And join us always. My girl to the right, Mavis. 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 Hey, y'all. Mavis. Margaret, also known as Mavis, because I will flip on you when it comes to negotiations. I start out nice and, and cordial, then I come in with the hammer. Hammer. Mm -hmm. Hammer time. Don't put the hammer. And, then, and before we get into our in studio guests, we're going to go ahead and oh, throw it to oh, our yes. super producer in the back, Jazzy J. Talk to yeah. him, Jen. What's going on, everybody? You should keep it real to AKA J. Joseph, AKA X Ray, getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can't see. <laughs> Absolutely. And we are joined today with another guest. This is like two in two weeks. Let's go, baby. Yeah. So we got one of our newest members. She's an affiliate member with Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Mrs. Cecilia Gonzalez is in Hello. the building. So she's going to take she's gonna take part in our shenanigans for today that we do on Tuesdays. Uh, but if this is your first time chiming in with Mastermind Through Tough Times, it's something that we do every Tuesday at 2.30. We jump on here. And it's just kind of like shop talk, right? When you're getting your nails done, getting your hair done, and y'all just be talking about a bunch of randomness. That's what we're going to be not, about to do. Randomness. Now we're graduating into doing ran doing randomness, which you guys yes. are about to see real soon. Yes. Um, but with that being said, let's jump into our trending topic so y'all can realize why Margaret over here tripping. Well, it's all the way at the bottom. So well, it's just, not let's start problem. with that tripping this though. Okay, so let's start. Tripping. Well, what caught my eye is all the way at the bottom at number 26. Trip where it needs to be. Now, I am a big Cowboys fan. How about them Cowboys? You don't watch the games. Because it makes my tummy hurt. <laughs> I, I get nervous. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway, <laughs> all that competition and who's the uh -uh, too much. Okay, so apparently linebacker Jalen Smith is switching his jersey number from number 54 to number nine. And he's going to be. Really? Yes. So why, why is he taking Romo's number? I don't know. Well, I That's guess nobody I... using it. And they like Romo still play for y'all. Well, aren't linebackers, don't they use the yeah. higher numbers? Yeah, they usually do use the higher numbers. I mean, he doesn't explain why he's doing it. Uh, well, I didn't click on it because I was just like yeah, shocked. I, would, I wouldn't have clicked on it either. I, no, because I know we're professional around here. And, and sports can bring out the worst in people. It'll bring out well, mystique. Any cowboy fan need the worst. <laughs> Barred out of. Anyway, so that's what's trending at number 26. <laughs> and we're going to go back up to the top. Yes. So we can make sure we keep it cordial? Yes. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. so what's number one? Number one, K-pop is trending. They hashtag streaming butcher. 
And you know what? I just I was looking at Trolls World Tour yesterday. Has anybody seen that? Anybody seen Trolls? Trolls? I'm the only one. Trolls? Yeah, I guess you got to have an eight year old in the house. But I was looking at Trolls World Tour <laughs> yesterday. And the reason that I'm bringing it up right now that we're talking about K pop, because one of the troll, troll groups was like a little K pop group. And you know, I just realized this year what K pop was. I didn't know. Remember, remember we, yeah, remember we had that conversation that I didn't know what K pop was. And now I get it. Hmm. Did you knew what K-pop was? Yeah. <laughs> so then you're like, uh, yeah. yeah. I don't listen to K-pop, but I know what it is. Yeah, K-pop. They got its own thing. So how they get their own thing, though? Like, of all the pop, how did Korea get pop? They got it like that. Why wouldn't so they, they get it? Well, I mean, it's a country, so you can have, like, yeah. Mexico pop, M-pop, yeah. or uh, French pop, F-pop, yes. or Italian pop, right? I think K-pop style. It's like a flair, like, they just got it. Like, they just got it like K-pop. that. It doesn't sound right when it's French pop. Mexican I guess. Pop. Yeah, I guess yeah, Mexican right. pop don't sound. K-pop, right. <laughs> K-pop just works. I think K-pop. K-pop. It's because you have to K-pop. say like F-pop. F-pop, like French pop, right? Okay. French pop. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like F-pop. that, actually. That sounds derogatory. We, like we, we got a new F-pop group coming out. <laughs> Taking the world by the storm, the F-pop group. So anybody else that's not from Korea doing pop is just pop? Pop yeah, music. because um, pop? Britain does pop, but they don't. We say are America does E-pop. pop. They call it. They call it like a pop. I don't know what they call it. They call it something. Hey. They don't call it pop. No. Huh. Everyone has their own lingo. Well, so I know on trolls. And then here's another thing. Now that I think about it, now we're bringing this up, right? So yes. on Trolls World Tour, they had four different clans, and one of the clans was the Pop Clan. But then K-pop wasn't a part of the Pop Clan. So like, was that differentiation? Like, it should be all pop. What kind of other clans did they have? They had rock. They had funk. Funk had a okay, clan. Funk. Oh, okay, funk. Funk had a clan, and they had um, <laughs> country. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, so it was five. So it was pop, country, funk, uh, classical, and. <laughs> I mean, I listen to classical music. It's good to study. When my hands hurting, I, I was you listen to classical music. It, it keeps jazz, me focused. I like I focus mm-hmm. better with with classical music. I do. I do. Okay. So that was number one. Give me a picture. Me a picture. Okay. Can you see me? Uh, anyway. George George Floyd is trending at number two. Yeah. Anniversary of George Floyd. Make the a holiday. George Floyd holiday. No, I don't. I don't know about a holiday. Is when the world realized that racism still exists in America. Okay. Who knew? Okay, number three, Jill and Leon. <laughs> it's number three. <laughs> we had, yeah, we, we need had, to keep this light. We we handle the tough subjects. Yeah. Well, Mike handles them. I just go on to the yeah. next trend and topic. Yeah. You know, okay. you know, you know, you know. Brooks yelled at me the other day. Really? Yeah, he says I'm too controversial on the masterminds. Oh, see, I try. See, Mr. Brooks, I'm trying. I'm trying <laughs> to go to the next topic. Somebody needs to say it. Now we couldn't talk about the Cowboys too much because that's controversial too. At least you're Is real. It though? At least you're speaking real. Yeah, I guess so. Real it's the real, real. Got to get the people what they want. So number three, we have Jill and Lee on. Our number three on Jess's is Corner. Okay, we can talk about Corner. Now, I wasn't yeah. familiar with that, but that was something that you're familiar with. Yes. So, Klarna is like a, a PayPal. Away. You can buy your stuff now. And pay later. And pay later. Yeah, that's called layaway. And that's really good for, <laughs> but no, but you get the goods. With layaway, you don't get you don't the goods. <laughs> I guess you're right. Digital yeah, I layaway. know about the layaway. Well, you don't get that stuff. Who was that, Lil Wayne? Yes. Well, oh. Lil Wayne is no, using no, no, Klarna. No. Oh, he is no, they're talking about me, me choosing me. What does it say? Me when a website doesn't accept afterpay or corner. See? <laughs> it's like and then the, what helps is the merchant gets that money right then. Really? So we get the money. So why would perfect. why wouldn't a merchant take corner then? I don't know. I don't Maybe I don't, they're not that's as why they had that updated. video. Yeah, they're not they're antiquated. Oh, co- oh the like merchant it. is mm-hmm. they need to set their game up. So yes. is the app? Yes, it's an app and it's on my phone. So I guess Afterpay is like Corner too. I don't know. I don't know. Do I'm you? Talking. Because it says Afterpay. I'm saying Afterpay okay. too. Well, I guess Afterpay. Yeah, could my be cheap like ass that. loves me some Afterpay. Karen and all those <laughs> other ones that offer payment plans. And there's no interest unless you don't pay it. Yes, yeah, so there's no interest for like, in the like two months. Two oh. months. Oh, they give you two months to pay it off. So how do they make money? 
I don't know. If you don't Maybe pay it off in two months, they get interest tacked on to it. Yeah, but I mean, two months. Well, that's I'm not concerned about how they get paid. I'm just concerned about them <laughs> paying me. I understand. <laughs> get your get your goods, girl, and and pay afterwards. Okay. I'm not a big fan of payments. You're not no, okay. Not well, yeah, yeah. You know, cause stuff happens, man, and then yeah. you get caught up. Like I just get, I just got hit for a forty dollar late fee on a credit card and almost messed my whole day up over that forty dollars. Jerks. Cause I missed it by one day. Nice. I forgot. Well, it really was two days. But Mine was only five dollars. Your late fee on your credit card? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got a credit card with? Uh, it's still like a. It's like American. Oh. American Express? Not American Express. Oh, I was gonna say you balling. Oh, Somebody no. don't need afterpay. <laughs> Flights are taking corner. Flights are taking. Flights corner? are taking corner. So this dude. What? Says, See y'all in Dubai. That's a question. That's a question. Oh, okay. Man, all I heard, <laughs> all I saw was flight taking corner. I didn't look at the question marks. Got her. I'm like, oh yeah, it's travel time. It ain't. It's, it's travel time. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. It's it is travel, travel time. time. Yes, it is. Okay, okay, so number four, I like that that trending topic there. Oh, so the new Marvel thing is coming out. The God of Thunder. God I mean, the God of Mischief. Of mischief. Oh. So that's a. Uh, um, what was his name? Loki. 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 So that I mean, you know, I like I like those Marvel things, like the WandaVision and Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Like they're, the storylines are really, really good. Like I'm really <laughs> interested in. in <laughs> I don't have Disney Plus. <laughs> we don't have that luxury. Okay? Oh, y'all better get that. Y'all better get y'all corner. <laughs> see if corner. See if Disney Plus take corner. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess I could. <laughs> they take you got to expand your network, man. You got to get your hand on the logins. Oh goodness. You know how boys are. That's my broker. Doing. What it about is it? my broker? Right. Like handing you know, out logins. Like using password. Man, I'm just saying, man. It may not be mine to give out. It may not. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> so you got to hook up with somebody else. Man, all I'm just saying is I'm excited about Loki coming out. Well, I can't get excited because I can't see it. And they only gonna cost you twelve ninety nine a month, or you can get one of these plans. You get Disney, Hulu, ESPN. You know you're a Cowboys fan. Yeah, but I have too many subscriptions now. Mm -hmm. Okay, so number seven <laughs> on my end is John Cena. What he do? See, professional wrestler and actor John Cena apologized to China in Mandarin on Cena Weibo. What he do to China for calling Taiwan a country? Doing an interview promoting Fast and Furious Nine. Man, they're doing another Fast and Furious. Yeah, yeah they come. They going <laughs> overboard. Jesus right. Christ! It's gonna be Fast like, and Furious Thirty Four. Like, all of them. Like, for real. Like I understand the reboot. Like after after Tokyo Drift, I thought that it was over. Like I thought they was never gonna recover. Somehow they recovered mm -hmm. and they kept going. But so yeah, so so China China and they feelings yeah. about Taiwan being called a country. They're very sensitive about. Taiwan. They are because Taiwan Basically. needs to be its own country. I thought it was its own. Okay, no, you're coming not. back it's to a, the controversial a, stuff again. It's so a uh, political. it's kind of like a, it's a territory of China. Oh, okay. Like Hong Kong used to be too. I'm sure the Chinese is watching the internet. Right. And you talking about they already they own they America. already own America. We don't want them to shut Brooks and Davis down. <laughs> right. I just got here. <laughs> All right. Everything, everything's Number eight. Over. <laughs> Number eight, on. Oh, yes, number National Wine Day. Hallelujah. Nope, not as big, not as big as your language. Woo. Woo. We can celebrate our love for wine. Yeah. So let me Red, tell you So let me tell y'all about this wine called Bridgeland that I get. I may, I may have got all of the bottles, but they Bridgeland. was at, they was at Kroger for two ninety nine. Were they? Was it in a box? No, it was, it was in, a in a bottle. bottle. It was in a bottle. And look, so for me, so this is what I do sometimes. Like I go to. Kroger, and then I, cause every now and again they'll have these really cheap wines. Mm -hmm. So and I and I try them, cause I'm like, man, it's a cheap wine. Let me see if it's nasty. Mm. I know I'm a little throw though. And every now and again, <laughs> but this one was two ninety nine. It's National Wine Day. We talking about wine? Oh, see. so it's two, <laughs> so this one was two ninety nine. That I ain't Very never cheap. seen them. I ain't never seen them two ninety nine. So I was like, hold on, let me finish. So I was like, I gotta try. It. So I, I got it and it was good. Like it was really good. Did you put ice the, in it? 
No, no, no. You ain't, you could you could drink it warm. It was good. It went down smooth. And, you know, it gave you a little bit of kick. I went back and bought the rest of the bottles. So you get a buzz. A little bit of kick. Mm. I mean, if you ain't not if not for the buzz, why are we drinking wine? I True. put ice and fruit in my wine. Strawberries and pineapple, yes. At the end, it's all like you know, infused. Look at you, girl, and then you eat it. It's like a pineapple. And I like, I like my my wine cold. I don't like warm things. You don't like you don't like warm things. (laughs) (laughs) You don't you don't like things warm. (laughs) Coffee, tea, none of that. We don't want none of that. that. The sun, the sun. (laughs) Come on, out of here, bro. Hot chocolate, out of here. It's not happening. So National Wine Day. Yeah, National Wine. That's so y'all cute. should give y'all a shout out on Twitter. Right. Matter of fact, I should maybe I should showcase my two ninety nine wine bottle. Yes. On my social media Everybody today. Don't buy it up. Listen, and no. Well, it. I bought it already. They ain't got no old Kroger. Better not restock. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I feel like I'm trending. They need to be an NFT. Well, anyway, let's go ahead. Okay, it's another. Okay. Yeah, it's time to get on the topic. But okay. before we get on the topic, there is a challenge. Oh, yes. A challenge. First ever challenge of the Mastermind Through Tough Times. First ever challenge. (laughs) So I guess, Jess, you need to jump back into this to kind of manage the wheel and all that stuff. I want to get us doing it. And uh, I want y'all to understand that somebody is not participating. That is cute. Don't want none of that. Yes, it did. You don't got to get the minutes in. None of that. Ain't doing it. He not, ain't doing it. Not playing with him today. All right, guys. <laughs> yes, yeah. we have a challenge today. I picked this store. It is called Bean Boozled. Okay. Bean Boozled. Bean Boozled. You got it right here on the screen. So basically, it's a challenge of hot jelly beans. And so I got the crew. And here are the flavors that they have. Sriracha, jalapeno, cayenne, habanero. Carolina Reaper. All right, so I'm going to spin the wheel. And then my crew back there and myself, trying to get Mike on board. <laughs> Let's see if we can go ahead and get him to try it out. But let me see if I can get back to my screen here. One moment, guys. Right. Try the beans. I'm not beans. doing it. Try the beans. <laughs> I'm not doing it. He's not doing it. I'm trying to get back to my. Here we go. All right, spin the wheel. Who wants to go first? You're our guest. I'll go be first. our guest. Be our guest. I'm your guest. So I'm it's your guest. guest. Who's going? Oh, oh. She has spin. Okay. So she spin for the green. Okay. I, I, okay. So she got to do the green? Yes. Uh, uh. <laughs> it tastes like. Like the kettle jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not bad. The kettle, okay. kettle the spices jalapeno. are not even like. The kettle jalapeno, jalapeno chip. All right, who next? Ben Push it. Just spin it. It was spicy. It was spicy. <laughs> hey, she got you that water out. Right. <laughs> it's not spinning over here, Jess. Because it is rain. Oh, it's raining. It's been okay. raining every day for the last two months. Well, um, like. Mike, pick one. No. Pick one. Orange. So we can keep the show going. Uh, orange. Okay, what flavor is that? That is yeah. habanero. I habanero. Think. Okay. Habanero. Habanero. <laughs> Jess is gone. <laughs> oh, habanero is very peppery. Mm. Kind of kicks you in the back of the throat. Yeah, that's how this one was. Too. In the back. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Right in the back. Mm-hmm. I think I'm kind of being. Uh, I think I'm being um, uh, influenced. Yeah. I think I'm being influenced. Come on, Mike. Ooh. Oh, it's a good flavor come though. If they had this on some chicken, <laughs> some chicken wings. Mm. Some chicken baby. Chicken baby. All right, I got my water. All right, Jess. Jess, you still out for the count? Oh, it come. Uh oh, see that made me There's change my mind. Me- no. <laughs> You can't that change that. That made me want nothing to do with it. <laughs> nothing to do with okay, it. Yeah. face all red. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> oh, my, oh my God. goodness. I thought it was a filter. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, all right. So which one do I need to get? Red. Um, 
Um, yes, try a red one. Try the red I one. I don't know which flavor that is. Can you hear us, Jess? What flavor is red? Okay. Oh, Jess, go. Right. Try it, try it. Can I can tell you try it? <laughs> tell me what you think. The red one. The red one. The red one. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I can do the red one. Which one? Yeah, let's all try the red one yeah. at this point. Let's see. I ain't doing no more. Hmm. I'm so mad at y'all. It's just gonna be live. <laughs> Red isn't that bad. All right. Oh, I'm back. Goodness gracious. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, look at look at look at. Oh. See Keisha, I done jumped in there. Red is good. Now I'm sweating though, but yeah. Are you? Are you? <laughs> Yeah, I'm a little, I'm a little. Oh, oh man, let me see. Right, right so which ones did y'all try? So she did, uh, Cecilia did jalapeno. Margaret did habanero. I think I did hell. I don't know <laughs> what that and both of us did hell with you. Is that it? It is. <laughs> yeah, we all did hell. All uh, right. Okay, well, try, try the but... dark burgundy one. Yeah, try that one. Jesus Christ. Okay, yeah, that's messing with my tongue now. Yeah, I'm here. Try the dark burgundy one. You say which one? Ooh, I don't know. I, I, I can't even think no more. Jesus Christ. The dark burgundy. We need that church fan. Anybody got a church fan? All right, here we go. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, man, it just, you got your water. I hope you got some water. Oh, you need which some water. Which one is that, bro? Which is dark, dark burgundy? I challenge all Brooks and Davis agents to finish yeah. these jelly beans off. If you can make it, I give you my commission Ooh. on my next deal. Ooh, Jesus. <laughs> Ooh. Make them call. Got call. Yeah, I'm sweating. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm yeah. a little sweaty. You made me, if I, started, I, I almost started crying. All right. Yeah, that's just, hot. I, I, I teared up. All right. I teared up. I guess my eyes are a little watery. My tongue burning. Yeah, my tongue is burning. What were you supposed yes, to Yes, it's hot. Burning? I don't know. I think my Amazon. <laughs> Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> Amazon switching it up. Man, that, that's a, that's the who's the people that do jelly bean? Is that the name of the company? <sighs> jelly bean? Yeah. Jelly bean. Jelly bean. I blame them. I blame them. Mm -hmm. All right. They should never, <laughs> ever have nothing out there like this. Don't make no sense. Oh, yeah, try here. another one. Try another one, Mike. I ain't doing no more ever. I'm not ever eating another jelly bean. Now, nah, guess what? I ain't even oh, eating another oh, jelly bean. Oh, messed it up for you. I breathe in deeply. <laughs> it's like eating a pepper. Mm -hmm. It's like actually eating a pepper. Yeah. Maybe we needed milk instead. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Can right. you imagine taking a handful? I know, oh. and I know. And you know what? That'd be a crazy joke on somebody, though, right? And it, yeah, like, that'd be a heart attack. Yeah, because you know they'll start popping. I'd be upset, especially yeah, the ones that have a delay. <laughs> they got a delay kick. They have jelly beans that taste terrible. Yeah. So those might be These, fine. But you know what? They weren't that bad. No, they're, they're good. They're just hot. Like if you yeah. put them on some chicken. Yeah. Yeah. That it's, orange one. That baby said, put them on some chicken. Put them on some chicken wings. What the hell happened there with chicken? Yeah, so that was, that was Ooh, good. We're trying to collect ourselves back. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> I'm glistening. We're trying, <laughs> we're trying to collect ourselves. Okay. All right, so we're supposed to be talking about the innovations of, what, what was that? Cayenne? You ate Cayenne? Which one? Oh, yeah, I had Cal Carolina Reaper. That's hell. That's what okay. it was. Reaper is high. Oh, no, or maybe it was Sriracha. Maybe I had Sriracha. So. I had this one. That's this a is Carolina Reaper. That yeah. one. Yeah. So I'm what's that Sriracha? Yeah, I had so whew, I just I just wanna go lay down. <laughs> All right. Whew. Amazon. Amazon. Okay, so they started out with books. They did. It used to be a a, 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 mm -hmm. a library. Not a library. What do they call it? Bookstore. A library. <laughs> no. Okay. I, I can't feel my thumb. It I wasn't a library, y'all. <laughs> It used to be a library. Mm -hmm. 
No, it was a, a an online, online bookseller. Bookstore. Putting everybody out of business. Now my nose are running. <laughs> Putting everybody out of business. Um, there was like Barnes and Noble. Mm -hmm. Is there still a Barnes and Noble? Uh, Here and there, this the one. Mostly. Okay. Yeah, I think I, this one still over there for Buffalo, where we used to go to uh, um, uh, our Asian restaurant. Okay. You know the Asian restaurant we go to? China Sticks. China Sticks. Yep. Okay. okay then there's okay. Half Price Books. I think they're still around. They just closed the one in West actually. University. Oh, I used yeah. to go to that one. I did too. They closed it. So, so what are they gonna do with that big sign on the top of the building? You take it off. Repurpose. <laughs> <laughs> take it off. The new tent. You still eating? Just still over here. Still eating those. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jess. Jesus. You're gonna start sweating. Jess, hey, when we get to the when we get to the end of the show, Jess ain't gonna be able to talk. Keith, you better come get your girl. She over here. She gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have your hands full when she gets to the house. Yes. So from books to everything. Everything. They sell Whatever everything. You know. They say now, they say now, like if you like if I matter of fact, before I think they did a study, and when you had the word Amazon. People automatically reflected to the the, the river, right? What? The Amazon River. Okay. But now, if you talk to a child, like the first thing that they're gonna connect it with is, I mean, the so, rainforest, not the river, the, the Amazon rainforest. Okay. So now it's gonna be this Amazon. So like the business, yeah. the company Amazon has now trumped a million year old. Forest, as far as naming rights. Okay. I still think of the forest. You still think of the forest? And it is a river. Is it? Mm -hmm. There's the Amazon River and Forest. It's, it's, all the it's all together. Yeah, huh? it's all together. Yeah, you know, step my geography game up. Right. Yeah. I'm get a map up yeah. in here. Yeah. We'll get it done. Boom. You know, me, me, and, me and my daughter was having the whole, the whole geography question the other day. We were trying to figure out when do you learn it. <laughs> my wife was like, You learn geography in the fourth grade. We was like, uh, No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, no, I don't remember. You learned it in high state. school. I learned states and third grade states did you maybe yeah like third grade states i think yeah maybe states yeah. i did but not, i did but the presidents and like but like geography we're talking about like geography i remember like seventh grade you learned it <laughs> geography, geography? Seventh grade. well i know it wasn't the fourth grade okay wife yeah. <laughs> wife <laughs> well it has evolved so it's taken it, it's like cultural now so mm -hmm. it changed the culture it's its own thing so when you say amazon everybody automatically thinks equates it to the store yeah so if we say the amazon is on fire they're gonna be like how so they it's a digital it. store yes <laughs> what 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 distribution center in college right. just over there losing a life <laughs> 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 you know they just recently built a distribution center over by our job i mean by my my house over off 288 yes i saw it i saw it but I was it like, doesn't wow. seem like it just came out of nowhere though it did like, like it i like, didn't see it yeah it's just you you were driving just, driving driving and you look up one day and it's there it's just there i didn't see anybody building it yeah it's just like it appeared it was just there it came from out of space so maybe that's how amazon is evolving well they just drop in st stores and boom, ready made out of ready made store yes big i wonder if we can huge. go in and, and pick up items there i think you i think it does have a pickup because Jess did say that they took away the two day prime yeah, membership what's that about? delivery. What's that about? That's not cool. You know, you know, I you know why they did it. Did we, you know why they did it? They did that because they feel like Amazon Prime Video is strong enough to maintain you paying for that subscription. Because see, before Amazon Video, the 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 what the what was enticing about the Amazon Prime was yeah. the two day shipping. But now it's like, well, we got good content on our Amazon Prime I don't, video. I don't think they have enough of good content. It's, they got good content, though. I don't think they do. That's why I got it's it. It's not enough. <laughs> yeah, it's not enough. Because they had the movie with Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, without remorse. They had them. And I think it, it was it was cute. But well, without I could have did about did without it. Without, without remorse? Yeah. <laughs> it wasn't neat. It was, I mean, it's only, what is that, $10 a month? Like $120 a year? I think it was like $14. Oh, they went up? Yeah. Amazon. Like fourteen dollars. So do it. Come on, man. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, so that and homes, could they evolve to selling houses on Amazon? You bet not. You bet not, Amazon. You better keep your hands off of it. That is a good question. I think I mean at one point I was getting these text messages where they were trying to say, like, oh, Amazon's trying to take over selling houses. Beware. Agent beware. 
But right now, if you think about it, like houses are going on the market and people are buying them without you're just seeing pictures. That true. That's true. all they need is some pictures. True. That is true. They can still get the appraiser to come in and they can do that. That's so, true. You, know I mean? you better not. Yeah. Right, I don't even think about it. You better not. I have been duped by stuff that I purchased on Amazon. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. The, I, worst, I, the last thing you want to have happen <laughs> is get duped on a house. Yeah. Like, this is not what the pictures look like. I got this really pretty silk robe and I put it on. Strings, just strings, what? and unraveling. I was like, no. well, you get what you paid for. Oh. So if you paid, it was affordable. It was like four ninety nine. I was like, that rope is cute. Yes. Oh, well, it, yeah, was that, cute. It, it was cute. It, it was really a, where it come from too, because sometimes it be coming yeah. from some other places. It's just, <laughs> it's not, it's not it. Okay? It's not it. You shouldn't get it. stuff yeah. there. Right. So if Don't you buy a house like that. It's like, um, mm, where is it coming? Is from? it just the front door? And I'm like, okay, right, you walk through and you fall through. <laughs> yeah, or, it's not really a house. There's it's a some dimension to another say, portal. Tech, like some things say, like with technology, and some things that should just say personal. You know they're gonna account. try to sell these houses online. I'm, I'm sure, sure they will. I mean, they already they already sell cars. You already you can already go and buy yeah, a car buy and a have car it shipped to you. That is true. Okay, They'll and then you can return it in 14 days, just like you would. That's what it says <laughs> on the receipt. 14 okay. day guarantee, right. baby. <laughs> hmm. You can still do that. That's that's something to think about, real estate agents. No, Amazon, you better not. You better look not. at this like we're taking your business too. That's all right. Hmm. You know, Bezos, Bezos stepped down as the CEO. They got a new CEO. Really? He wanna, he wanna I didn't hear about that. Yeah, you know, he want to focus on his uh, exploratorial space. Uh, yeah, okay. space stuff. You know, they got a space thing too, like Elon Musk. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. Speaking of like the Amazon two day closing. Hey, y'all. <laughs> hey. You say, you say get back on the two day closing? Like, let's finish discussing that. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, you know what? I just ordered a bunch of stuff from Amazon, and okay. at that time, it really didn't matter that I got it in two days. I like my stuff the next day. Do you really? I do. You ever did the same day? Um, no, because that costs day, right? more. Right. No, they actually, I got it one time. It was like I had the option for same day, and it was not an additional expense as long as you okay. had a prime membership. Okay. Uh, but it came two weeks later. I don't know. Yeah, and then they send you. Have you ever? Have you ever like had something not come to within the time frame, and then Amazon be like, they send oh, you it's a little coupon. Way. No, they didn't send me nothing. Oh, okay. they just send me a text saying, "We're sorry, it's coming." Like what? Okay, yeah. What if I needed it? <laughs> what if I needed it on that day? Amazon. They like, hey man, it's really coming. Like we believe, we believe us, it's coming. And then they send another email like, we don't know what happened. <laughs> but it's coming. We, I mean, you can you can look. You can ask for a refund if you want to, but we believe it's coming. <laughs> like, where's the drone? Like, send the drone or just drop it yeah. off. Yeah, well, didn't they do a whole like 2020 show about much. the drone? Then they get all the drones it? in there, and then I can't see the sun and I can't see the clouds without a drone. Yeah, I guess you got a point. There. <laughs> see, I'm I'm young, but I feel like I'm an old. I'm an old soul. Like, old so soul. like I don't do the Amazon scared thing. Scared of technology. I, I don't like. It. Well, I mean, I work I work in the technology, so I'm surrounded by it all day. <laughs> it's just like. Ugh. You know, I know how to fix it. I know how to work with it. Yeah. I know how to service it, whatever. But you want to I don't know. I want to be like face to face. I want to go and get my clothes. I want to go and try the line. Really? I want to go and get my food. I want to make sure that there's no like bump on the back of my apple. You are old so Yes, girl. I am. Because I saw I'm... a movie where they were delivering food by drone and it's called Fly In. No, really? I, don't, I don't like it. It was a movie about it, though? Yes, it was a movie with Alexander Skart. Skart. I can like, never what was the story? His name. What was the story about? Okay, it was called <laughs> Mute. So he, mm. he could not talk, and he had this girlfriend in this risque life. Mm. So mm -hmm. she went missing, and he had yeah. to find her. But he couldn't talk to nobody. But he couldn't talk, and he had this phone that could track, but something happened to the phone. So one guy said, call in Fly Away, because they send you the food. So he put her number in to fly away, could send her the food, and it flew to her mother's home. And he oh. it gave him another clue to where she might have been. Ooh. And he said he didn't like fly away food or fly in food. He said that? Yeah. Mean, but he well, no, mean. he didn't say it. Right. I'm but like, how did he, he, he wrote it down to his girlfriend once. I don't like fly in food. Oh, that's, that's cute. I, don't, I wouldn't like it either. I think I'd I like it. No, it's like it cold. Well, maybe they have a little heat or something. What if you had a rotisserie chicken that you were getting from I or whatever, right? And you're gonna get it in, and it's gonna be cold. Fly away. Well, but you know, then that's the evolution of drones. That's like for another show. The evolution of drones. Okay. We have we'll, drones we'll in the next week. I'm, I'm gonna have to say some things about that. <laughs> what up, Chad? Chad the building. Hey, Chad. Hey. All right, so what we got for the real estate people today? 
Okay, we're talking about a controversial topic, but it's a real topic. So we can talk about it. Y- yes. Because you know y'all be trying to put y'all be trying to put uh, handy handcuffs on me. Let me loose. We try to keep the show <laughs> light. <laughs> yeah, we try to keep Let the show loose. light. Right. All right. Okay. So racial profiling when it comes to appraisals, they doing that? Yes, they are doing that. No, they're not. Prove it. Okay, just show them the video. <sighs> show them the video. You got evidence. Let's see if Jess can show them the video. I don't like that. Very sad about doing this, but I wanted to document it. A woman in Florida is recording the moment she has decided to do something really hard. Because it does seem like one of the few ways that we can achieve economic fairness um, by just having my husband be in the house by himself and taking down all evidence that uh, he has a black family. (gasps) Her name is Abina Horton. She is a labor and attorney, and this is her husband, Alex Horton, an artist. Last June, they set out to get an appraisal of their home in Jacksonville, Florida, hoping to refinance and pay down the mortgage. A home filled with books and photos and love. Her family, his family. But when the appraiser came, Abena was there and said she felt something unsettling. It clicked in my mind almost immediately that I understand what the issue was here. Why did I let myself forget that I live in America as a black person Mm. and that I need to take some extra steps to get a fair result? Mm. The appraisal. Mm. Yeah, so that's that's disheartening. Disheartening? Yes. That is downright despicable. Disheartening. Disgusting. This guy, are you serious? Triple D. So supposedly, <laughs> I mean, it was a four, it was a four, it was a forty thousand uh, dollar drop. They, and then I, and they even said the bank was confused. Yeah, the bank was like, "What? <laughs> what? Okay." So, Buying a house should be like you know like a nice experience. You know that that absolutely. Mm-hmm. So they saying that they had to. So she had to take all her stuff out of him as if she had a black family. Just have him in there by himself. And the regular price came through. Right. Who's the appraiser? Put him on blast. Right. Yeah, yeah but who aren't is? they usually like some third party you don't know who it is? Oh, we know. Who is? You don't know who the bank hires a third party to come in and you, you never know who that person is. I know they had to do it. Yeah, what did Chad say? <laughs> This is my phone. <laughs> there goes a neighborhood. Exactly. There goes a neighborhood for another five years. Well, I tell you. Well, now nah, I guess well, the neighborhood had already arrived. That's why the appraisal didn't come in. Because you know they say that uh, appraisal appraisals in predominantly African American neighborhoods are historically lower. lower than in other neighborhoods. So the neighborhood was it had already arrived. It had already changed, Chad. Okay, so. If that's the state of things, what do we do about it as real estate professionals? Mm. Can we ask them about the appraisals? Um, well, what did it come out for? Well, well technically, so- but but I mean, as real estate professionals, we know we have we comps. Do. We have access to comps. Okay. So if something like that happened, like we run our own comps and we'll be like, bro, like, did you consider this one next door? Did you consider this one? You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So clearly... The comps had to be there to substantiate the correct price. So I'm I'm curious to see on the appraiser's appraiser report how did he justify taking a forty thousand dollar reduction? Or maybe he didn't have to justify, and they just took it at at face value. Okay, this is what it is. No, let's move on. No, no, no. They got to explain because if, if if you look at his comparable properties, then he has to he has to justify how these properties why he used these properties. They could have been Mickey Mouse property. Mickey Mouse property. Yeah, she said Mickey Mouse property. Because I don't look at the appraisal in that much detail. And if it made value, let's let's get the. But if it don't make value, you do. If it don't make value, I do. Mm -hmm. So if it's making valuable value, and everybody's like, "Oh, okay, okay," and they're not noticing, hey, it made value, but it could have been so much more higher. They're just Mm -hmm. like, if it made value, let's. You know what? It's funny you say that because I was actually talking to a client. Now they've already closed on their house, uh, but he was wanting to—he was wanting to 
he felt like his house was worth more and he wanted to get a second opinion for the he wanted to get an appraisal done and i i didn't even really connect this right here but because i was like you know why would you spend 700 bucks just you're not gonna do nothing you just bought the house right and if it and if it was worth more than what they appraised it for then you're winning like right. it's all good but now that you think about it you know to have that uh i guess that satisfaction to know that my house is worth what it is and i'm not being racially profiled or discriminated against because i'm a black person yeah because there's a lot of wealth tied up into that so if he does a, get a second appraisal he could maybe not right now though he doesn't need it right now he just bought the house okay but who knows you know maybe he can have some more equity in there he can borrow against that it's, it's always that's what i'm saying at the time he needs to borrow against it then maybe he can get a second opinion if it comes at if it comes back the same number as the one previously because they're not going to use the one that he did to buy the house yeah they last like three months right yeah three to six months three to six yeah okay so um beware so, man as i guess as uh, we need to like i said as real estate professionals if it shows up then we need to be prepared to pull our comps, do our research, uh, and verify mm -hmm. that that's not what's taking place. But the reality is that it is still out there, unfortunately. So, or recommend people that you know and trust to your clients. Well, here's the reality: we can't recommend appraisers. Oh, we can't. No, not as realtors, not the lender, nobody. Yeah, it has to go through a you know once the market bottomed out. <clears throat> Then, then they now have these appraisal scheduling companies that do all of that. So you just get who you get. I know, right? Yes. Learn something new every day. Like, there we go. Davis. Brooks and Davis, so, baby. That's why she's a part. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so keep your house bare when the appraisals come. Maybe. Maybe. Well, you know, I recommend that for clients when I'm selling their houses. Do you? Take all. The pictures out? Take pictures yeah. down. Mm -hmm. Any religious things. Because mm -hmm. I had one client, they were Buddhist. Mm -hmm. and the home I was selling was a Christian home, so they mm -hmm. had their costs up, and it was like, it, it mm -hmm. made it feel that. Or vice versa. Yeah. They're really, Christians are like really religious. Mm -hmm. Like come in, crossing the door, and looking, oh, mm -hmm. this, <laughs> right. this is not the house for us. Right. This is not the house for us. That makes sense. So just take everything out. Great advice, Margaret. Yeah, that was good. I like that. So what tip do you have for the realtors today, Margaret? Okay. Mm. So the tip, how to tell a client that you are not the representative for them. How do you tell them that, Margaret? <clears throat> Hello, Mr. <laughs> and Mrs. ABC. I really enjoyed working with you thus far, mm -hmm. but some things have come up and i feel that you will be better served with another realtor so you fire your clients <laughs> not often but it happens yeah, <laughs> yeah, you, yeah I'm, I'm getting better at firing you're getting mad so some so it's okay to yeah. fire some clients it is know. okay to fire clients y'all and what okay and what reason would you fire a client what would have to be happening they make my stomach hurt <laughs> and what causes you <laughs> other than hot jelly beans right which is now hurting my nose yes calling me at 10 o'clock um sending nasty texts about hey who is this supposed to be coming why haven't i had more open houses mm -hmm. and it's only been 12 days on the market yes hey now mm -hmm. i know you don't know you don't we don't want it to be that <laughs> Here we go. um yes and being rude being rude yeah. So it sounds like you're, you're saying you fire clients that are not respecting you. Yeah. Cause respecting this, you as a professional. Right. Because we're working very hard out here for you guys. Mm -hmm. And when the disrespect comes in, yeah. it's like a punch in the gut. That's yeah. why my stomach was hurt. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Shantae, so that's what it's really about, man. You don't want to work with somebody that's not respecting you as a professional. Uh, and you're running the clients, man, and they try to take advantage of you. They want you. It's like they, they treat you more like a slave, like a servant. Mm -hmm. versus mm -hmm. a, a professional that's offering them a service, yes. right? You're still a human being. Mm -hmm. You ever get a client that's not treating you like a human? Get them out of here. And how do you say it? How do you really? What did I say? Oh, hello, Mr. and Mrs. So-and-so. Um, I've enjoyed our time together, but it's come to my attention. Some things have come up. I feel that you would be better served with another realtor. Do you do you refer them to, like, do you offer them some recommendations of agents that may be a good fit? Yes, after I, I got the agents, because I had to tell them, hey, 
<laughs> so and so they gonna work you. So yeah. and so is gonna get on your nerves. So you don't just refer them to like maybe no. an enemy, like you have an enemy no. agent in the business, <laughs> and you're like, hey, go work with this person. I heard they're really, really good. No, I wouldn't do that. That's just what me. if they ask for an explanation? Like, oh, what you got? What you have? Yeah, you got a problem? Oh, okay, right. well, you it was <laughs> at 1130 last night when you sent that nasty text. It just really make me feel like me I'm not a human being that I can't service you the way you needed to mm -hmm. be served. Maybe it's best if you go somewhere else than you. Uh -huh. Matter of fact, it's nicely. better for you nicely. than me. Right, nicely. With uh -huh. respect. Have because some jelly beans. Right, matter of fact, have, have the red one. Yeah. Have some jelly beans. <laughs> because I'm about to, you about to get these hands. That's, that's, so In don't the say back that. of the throat. Don't say that to them. Don't say that. You about to get these hands. That's right. what's about to happen. Don't say that. That's a lawsuit. Don't do that. Absolutely. All right, so I'm with that. All right, so Jess, I think it's that time. All right, the only the only wheels I want to see now just is the wheels for the drawing. Yes, no more jelly bean, no evil more jelly bean devil jelly beans. Evil devil jelly beans. Oh look, Shantae asked the question: Have you ever had anyone who did not want to work with you based on race? Oh wow! So that's hard to say because right. it's not they won't blatant. say it. Yeah, it's not as blatant. People won't say that. So there have been times that I've um, I've um, insinuated that it was probably a racial thing on why they didn't work with me, but it's never been, I, I've never experienced it blatant. Mm -mm. No. You never experienced blatant? No, no one said it. Yeah. Have you experienced anything like that? Um, I know you're new, but. <laughs> well, <laughs> people think, you know, maybe because, you know, I'm, you know, white, I, I can't speak another language. And once I get speaking another language, they look at me all crazy. Woo! And then they'll be like, oh, okay. I'm scared of you. You're baby. right. They'll be like, oh. Well, I mean, it's it's good. It's a good thing. Yeah. You know, be who be who you are. If yeah. They don't like yes. you. Okay. Go. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Like you can't you can't change yourself. You know what I mean? Like we are we are who we bring to yeah. our thing. You know? Yeah. Just be yeah. yourself. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, we make money either way. So let's right. Go. Hey, record that. Right. We making money. We making money either, either way. Right. Money either way. Right. Right. English, Spanish, <laughs> French, Italian. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. Where the money reside. We still need to do that TikTok. Yeah, oh, that. Hey, and so and so and so and so, and that's on Mary had a little lamb. I like that. That's on Mary had a little lamb. Look at them. Little I think Mary, we, I, lamb we got some new social Mary media influences in the yeah. building right here, about to kill it. <laughs> okay, she but had the um the wheel up. Did she we? Did. Um, yes, we. Sorry, yes. Jess. This has been nothing but sidetracks all day. Okay. Let's that wheel. All right, guys, we're giving away the journal. We got the jumbo. Oh, okay. The wheel is about to spin. Oh, no. oh, okay. <laughs> Devil jelly beans away from us. Yeah, the green right. one's the best. Whew. Uh, anyway, I've only had one and will only have one. But with that being said, I think we had a good show. I know we went long. We almost oh, went an show. hour today. Really? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Because we had Those our shenanigans. Yeah, our yeah. jelly bean shenanigans. Jelly so beans. what are we talking about next week? Male enhancements. Male enhancements. Oh. Right, y'all. Some male enhancements. <laughs> okay. mm hmm so, oh, Cecilia, you gonna come back next week? Talk I'll about be here male next enhancements. Week. Mm -hmm. <laughs> male enhancements. We might have us a regular in and the we, show. Yeah, we gonna need to bring some props. Oh, mm -hmm. you let me know what props to bring. I'll bring. Okay. Okay. And with that being said, uh, this has been. I'm Master scared. <laughs> All right. <laughs> this is this has been Mastermind through Tough Times. I am your very fearful host, Michael G. Davis. Good. CEO of Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, <laughs> broker plus realtor coach. Uh, I said broker plus realtor coach. Business mm -hmm. plus realtor <laughs> coach. Was it the male enhancement part that got you off your game? It might have been them hot ass jelly beans. Oh, the jelly beans, okay. Anyway, uh, AKA Professor X, uh, because the way that I peel back uh, your layers of them challenges through our coaching, and we get down to the real nitty gritty mm -hmm. of what's stopping you from being successful. Right. Joined as always, the girl to my right, Miss Mavelous Margaret. Mavelous. I did it okay. again. Okay. I did it again. Yes. So this is Marvelous, Marvelous. Mavelous Margaret. 
also known as mystique because I flip on mm. you when it comes to negotiation. Mm. And male enhancement can be chin implant, and she keeps peck bringing implant. it up. She keeps <laughs> so, brown it. so yeah, right. cause I gotta tell y'all, cause people run in the gutter around. Right. right. Well, Goodness. that was the look, that's the right. point. It's clickbait. You know, when they hear that, like, oh wow, we need to tune in on oh, that. Clickbait. Clickbait. Okay. We gotta have it. And we had our special guest, Miss Cecilia Gonzalez. Hello, thank you for having me. Oh, thank you for. Yeah. Be, just being me. random with us today. Yes, we're very so grateful. Random. Yeah, mm -hmm. very random. And as always, we're going to allow our super producer in the back to shut the show down. We're going to go ahead and throw it over to Jess. <laughs> mm, come on, catch it, Jess. <laughs> okay. Oh, I caught it. Caught it. Caught it. <laughs> it's your keeping real to AKA J Joseph, AKA X Ray, getting down to your real estate needs. I see what you can't see. You guys have a great week, and we'll see you next week. Mastermind through tough times. Hey, see you later. Hey.